If you look inside my closet, you'll see that I have a pretty good number of cosplays. And a lot of that may be is because I really do have a good number of them. Now I'm not just talking about the normal variety such as sci-fi and comic books, I also mean the incredible kind from stuff like movies, TV shows, video games, and anime. And I love the hell out of them. I enjoyed looking like the characters I dress up as, and whenever I wear one at a convention, the experience was well worth it. So I'm doing a series talking about every single one of them. We're going to analyze every single bit of them, how well they turned out, and if it's well worth it. So sit back, relax, and get your sewing needles ready, because this is CGS, aka A Cosplayer's Guide to Success. Hey guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to, of course, another fantastic episode of, of course, A Cosplayer's Guide to Success, and, well, believe it or not, we're officially on our 10th episode right about now, so, so, yeah, I can't believe we've actually, uh, made it this, uh, far right about, uh, now, and we're just only getting started, of course, a, uh, great number of, uh, cosplays that I've, uh, got lined up right about now, so, so, yeah, I guess that's, uh, Pretty much uh, why I uh, still thought I would uh, do right about now. So, so yeah, I guess we're on the 10th uh, episode of, of course, this uh, show right about now. I think it's uh, pretty appropriate that, as usual, we will talk about another cosplay that I've uh, got lined up right about now. So, so yeah, following uh, to a, yeah, pretty much following up to, of course, uh, the uh, past uh, four episodes that I did, uh, to which I uh, divulging uh, mainly to, of course, uh, my uh, gender band version of Ruby Rose from Ruby, I decided to actually uh, go for another character from Ruby that have a, that will help uh, bridge the gap and stuff, and not to mention it's uh, someone I've been wanting to do for quite a long time now, pretty much ever since I actually did Ruby Rose, which is none other than Lyren, so... So, yeah, I think I do find myself uh, absolutely fascinated with, of course, uh, Lai Reng, uh, for uh, sure, and, and, yeah, like I said, uh, I have been me to, of course, uh, cosplay as uh, this uh, character for quite some time now, ever since I actually uh, did uh, my uh, gender band version of uh, Ruby Rose uh, right about now, so, so, yeah, pretty much uh, after a long time of uh, waiting, I have finally actually got it going, and uh, I've uh, got everything uh, right in uh, front of me uh, right about now, so I'm going to be uh, showing off uh, to you bit by bit and piece by piece just to see how it uh, fares up uh, from uh, everything else that I've uh, put together. So, so yeah, that's uh, what I figured I would do, so let's not waste any more time, man. Let's get right to this. Alright, so first up, uh, of course, uh, this uh, breakdown of, of course, this cosplay. I think uh, pretty much appropriately enough, I've actually got the uh, first thing that I've actually uh, got to uh, help put together this uh, costume right now, which is of course, in this uh, little bag right here, is of course his uh, his uh, wig right now, so, so yeah, I know it actually uh, doesn't look like uh, much uh, since I have uh, yet to actually get it out of the bag, but don't worry, I will uh, later on, so... So yeah, I actually uh, got this uh, wig as you uh, as you can uh, see here off of FM Anime, to which I uh, did have several uh, run-ins uh, before, uh, with of course a great number of uh, cosplays, uh, including some ones that I will uh, get to uh, later on. So, so yeah, I think uh, pretty much uh, this uh, wig that I actually uh, got that was of course the uh, first thing that I actually uh, picked up uh, in order to uh, help get this uh, cosplay going. I actually. Uh, Got this uh, way back in uh, 2019, uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, ever since, uh, pretty much uh, when I actually uh, first started uh, on it, just to uh, mainly get into the uh, nice uh, feeling of it, and, uh, and yeah, I will have to say the wig is absolutely uh, fantastic as we uh, speak, I just really love the way he actually uh, helped uh, represent uh, Ren's uh, signature uh, hair uh, style, uh, with of course uh, his uh, pink, uh, Streak, uh, of course, uh, his, uh, hair hanging, and of course, uh, the, uh, nice, uh, ponytail that actually, uh, came with it, so, so, yeah, I guess, uh, for what it is, I actually, uh, do find myself absolutely fascinated with, of course, this, uh, wig that I, uh, that I actually got, and, 
And yeah, it was actually a really uh, great uh, start to, of course, uh, help get this uh, cosplay going. So, so yeah, nothing much else to it. So yeah, pretty much the uh, wig I actually uh, got uh, well back in uh, 2019 was actually well worth it, but uh, but it wouldn't be until about uh, well over a year later uh, when, of course, I finally got all the other uh, stuff that I need to, of course, help get this uh, cosplay going. Uh, so. So yeah, I think uh, we might as well go ahead and jump right onto the meat and potatoes of, of course, this uh, cosplay right here, which is, of course, uh, the main costume itself. So, so yeah, this one I've been wanting to uh, get for uh, quite some time now, and uh, judging by the way I actually uh, see, it actually does look really, really fantastic right about now. So, so yeah, and in case a lot of you guys are wondering, I got this one straight off of Amazon as uh, we uh, speak, uh, and I think I will have to say it does uh, look absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, for sure, I think everything I'm that I'm uh, seeing right now from the uh, nice uh, color scheme uh, with, of course, uh, going in uh, green, gold, black, pink, and, and of course, uh, the uh, incredible uh, detail that they actually uh, threw into it actually uh, makes this uh, costume uh, all the more uh, worth it. And that's just only the main trousers, uh, right about, yeah, or sh yeah, or should I say the uh, main body of, of course, uh, the uh, costume itself. Uh, now, as of course, uh, everything else, uh, I think uh, this also uh, comes with, of course, uh, his, uh, these incredible arm guards as uh, we uh, speak. And uh, if we can uh, open up a whole lot uh, more. And, uh, yeah, there we go. And even includes a nice uh, set of uh, pants uh, for uh, sure. So, so, yeah, I guess with, of course, uh, what I'm seeing right about now, I really do admire the way uh, this, uh, this uh, costume actually uh, turned out. And for this... Uh, yeah, for me to actually uh, get this straight off of uh, Amazon as we uh, speak, that's actually is saying a whole lot. So, so yeah, I guess whatever the case, I really do admire uh, on how well the uh, costume itself actually turned out. So, so yeah. So now that of course I actually uh, got the main costume uh, out of the way, I think there is a uh, one other thing that I should uh, mention uh, right about now, uh, which is of course uh, a couple other things I actually uh, got to go along with this uh, cosplay. Uh, first of all, is of course uh, these uh, wonderful shoes as we uh, speak. So, so yeah, I guess uh, right about now I got these straight off of uh, Easy Cosplay, and uh, I have to say they actually uh, do look absolutely uh, fantastic from of course uh, the way I'm seeing it. Uh, Pretty much, uh, I think uh, what I actually uh, wanted to think of, of course, uh, the right uh, shoes for, of course, uh, Lai Rang. Uh, these are the ones that really came into um, mind. So, so yeah, I guess with, of course, uh, what you're uh, seeing right by now, it actually uh, does look uh, really, really uh, fantastic. And it really does uh, look like uh, Lai Rang's uh, shoes uh, as we uh, speak. So, so yeah, I guess uh, for uh, what it is, I really do admire the way the shoes actually uh, turned out. It is just absolutely admirable and I really really love it all the way so so yeah so yeah I guess it pretty much takes care of of course uh of of course the uh shoes that I actually uh got for of course uh for my Lyran cosplay but I mean hey uh I can't be Lyran without of course you know having his uh weapons uh right now so so yeah what I actually have here is of course uh Lyran's uh prop uh, guns uh that uh, he used uh, in the uh, show and like I said uh, much like the uh, shoes I uh Got these straight off of, of course, uh, Easy Cosplay, and, uh, and yeah, I think uh, from, of course, what I'm seeing, they do look absolutely uh, fantastic as we speak, and, and really keep one thing in mind, these are not real guns as we uh, speak, those are just props right about now, so... So, yeah, I think uh, with, of course, uh, what I'm uh, seeing right up now, they really uh, do look absolutely fantastic. I just really love the way uh, on how well it's actually uh, shaped out uh, to, of course, uh, the nice uh, detail they actually uh, threw into it. And even the nice uh, paint scheme that they actually uh, threw in as well, uh, which actually does make it all the more uh, worth it. So, so yeah, I guess uh, for uh, what I guess I really do admire the way these uh, props actually uh, turned out for uh, sure. Uh, almost like you... Uh, actually want to of course uh, shoot your uh, enemies as we uh, speak uh, or or I guess in the case of the uh, show right about now shoot up uh, the creatures of Grimm so so yeah and of course it uh, did take me a little while to of course uh, assemble the whole thing as uh, I have to put together piece uh, by piece uh, for of course this one but but hey for what it is I still think it's actually uh, well worth it so so yeah I guess nothing much else to it except these are actually really great props and so, yeah, that pretty much takes care of, of course, uh, everything uh, that I have to uh, say for, of course, uh, this uh, cosplay right about now, uh, bit by bit and piece by piece. So, so yeah, I guess there's nothing much else to it, except the only thing I gotta do right about now is to 
well, try the whole thing on to actually uh, get right on to uh, get right on to the full experience with it. And well, for you to uh, see me in, a, in its entirety right by now. So, so yeah, nothing much else to it except well, let's go ahead and uh, jump right onto this cosplay right by now. So, so yeah. Alrighty, alrighty, here I am making, of course, my Light Red cosplay, and, uh, I have to say, this looks really, really impressive, uh, right about now, and I think you can, uh, clearly, uh, see, uh, right about now, uh, there is, a uh, clearly a whole log, uh, that, uh, really went on to, of course, uh, putting, uh, this, uh, entire cosplay together, uh, pretty much everything from the front and, of course, uh, the back, as you, uh, can, uh, see here. I'm actually, uh, really thrilled by the way, uh, this, uh, cosplay actually turned out, so... So yeah, and of course, I do kind of look uh, badass with, of course, uh, me in this uh, costume uh, holding uh, Ren's uh, weapons uh, right about now. So, uh, so yeah, I guess uh, for, of course, uh, what it is, I really do admire the way uh, my uh, Lai Ren uh, cosplay actually uh, turned out, guys. So, so yeah, I guess uh, for, of course, uh, what it is, it actually is a really great uh, cosplay uh, for uh, me to uh, jump into. And, uh, and not to mention a rather uh, easy one to be honest, as it only took me like uh, quite a few minutes, like say maybe about, uh, I think maybe about seven or eight minutes to actually uh, get me into uh, this uh, thing in full, but, but I think it's uh, mainly uh, because of the uh, straps and the uh, buttons uh, that had, uh, of the uh, of the uh, top portion of uh, this uh, cosplay is uh, probably the reason why, so, so yeah, I guess uh, for what is, I really do admire the way this, uh, this uh, cosplay actually turned out, and it does feel great to, of course, uh, finally uh, jump into, of course, uh, this one. I, yeah, again, I really love the way it actually uh, turned out, and it does feel absolutely amazing to, you know, actually uh, being in uh, this one. So, so yeah, what else can I say except, uh, much like uh, with uh, what I did with my gender bent Ruby Rose cosplay, uh, I am really uh, happy, uh, of course, on my Lai Ren cosplay, uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, practically uh, another uh, great one in the uh, books, and I'm really glad I finally got to uh, put this thing together. So, so yeah, I guess uh, for uh, what it is, it is actually a really great cosplay, uh, hands down. So, so yeah, I get, I guess that's uh, pretty much everything that I can say for, of course, uh, for of course uh, this uh, cosplay uh, in uh, general. Nothing much else uh, to it. So. So yeah, and I think with that, uh, I think it's a good way to, of course, uh, stop here. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest episode of A Cosplayer's Guide to uh, Success. And, uh, and of course, as usual, if you have any constructive criticisms and or advice on uh, how I can improve my videos in the near future, then, then by all means, go ahead and leave them down in the uh, comments section below. And of course, as always, if you uh, want to ask me any questions or if you just want to book me for a con or event that will be coming up sometime in the uh, near future, then go ahead and send me an email to this email address, beackley95 at hotmail.com. And of course, as always, if you uh, want to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos in the near future, as well as, of course, uh, plenty of other stuff that I've uh, got going on uh, for uh, me in uh, general, including showing off some incredible cosplays like this one that, that you're uh, seeing right about now, then go ahead and follow me on my social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and plenty of other social media sites that I have provided. So yeah, all the links to them are down in the description box below. And of course, as always, uh, if you uh, want to uh, show uh, your uh, support to uh, me, while of course seeing some incredible sneak peeks to uh, some videos that I got coming up, as well as some other awesome rewards that will help fit into your budget, then go ahead and support me on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash TV. And of course, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, then then by all means, go ahead and give it a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And speaking of on my channel, if you want to see more videos like this coming up in the near future, then by all means, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell and select all notifications so that way you'll be notified once I upload a brand new video. So, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest episode of uh, A Cosplayer's Guide to Success. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, there's uh, going to be plenty more episodes already on the uh, way uh, for uh, sure. And and I and of course, as usual, I won't tell you uh, what cosplays uh, that uh, I'm going to be uh, showing off in the next episode. You're just going to have to tune in to actually uh, see for yourself. But if you are uh, hard destined to find out, then, uh, then well... I guess all you had to do is just wait, so... 
So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, end the video here, uh, just to uh, get that out of the uh, way. So, uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Oh my god, uh, a creature of Graham! <sighs> Sorry, force of habit. So, uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and end it right here. So yeah, I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Take care.